So in this video, uh, we're gonna try a tool uh, called RSET. Basically, what RSET is that uh, so far you see we have this Windows uh, Server 2019, and we've been managing everything from our server. Uh, in some companies, you may have access to the server directly. Uh, but most of the time for example like help desk where they are providing help uh, uh, for example there is a server room and somebody sits over there he can log into the server but uh, all the other user like if it's a bigger company and they have like for example 5 10 or 50 people all working for the uh, help desk then it is not feasible for all of them to log into the server and so for that there is a tool that's RSAT so they have their own desk um, like at our, in our server room there are a few people they have their own desk and they sit over there and they use this tool uh, to manage Active Directory and everything related to it uh, for that uh, normally you have to uh, download it where it's built in into the not kind of built into it you have to like download it through add features windows feature so first for example this is this account imran <coughs> it's a new user that joined and he has been he's a help desk guy uh, so we can make sure like we go to properties and see does he have uh is he a that's low domain enterprise and admin so yeah he has the rights to make changes so let's go to our windows machine and let's suppose it's not donald trump but somebody else uh we say imran slash imran and we give the password other oh it's i forget i forgot to turn off the enhanced session now it will let me log in I discussed the enhanced session in the past videos like uh, how to log in directly to the uh, virtual machine it only happens with the virtual machine um, some limitation or something that's a quickest fix um, you might want to watch that video that would be That video should be somewhere here. Installing can't log into virtual machine with domain account. So you need to watch this uh, video. Do what's the reason and how to fix it. But let's go to <coughs> this. Uh, we're gonna click on add features. So we're gonna search for Windows uh, features. Turn Windows features on or off. This is the one. Oh, well, it's asking for a admin rights. I think Imran is an admin. I hope it uh, allows me. No, it has to be the administrator account. Okay. So apparently, Imran account is not enough. It needs the administ trader account it's populating and it should be remote dif nope R set remote different compassion windows This is Windows 10. What if you install <laughs> Hyper-V within a virtual machine? What will happen? I wonder. Not good enough. Let's uh, search the thing here.
apparently I cannot see this remote the only thing is I see is remote and nothing else let's see on my host machine is there anything windows feature on or off do we have the same thing remote difference so it's not there exactly the same thing right there mm, if I can click here and go down you see remote different and remote so okay so it says that uh, go to manage optional features in settings so let's go to settings settings would be this one manage optional features let's click on right there optional features windows no nope. hello that recognize your english add a feature probably again should have logged with administrator okay <clears throat> taking its time that's windows over there in that case let's see what do we do you get this faster here apps optional features add a feature and Gujarati <laughs> R set right there active directory certificate service tool active directory domain service and lightweight LDAP lightweight directory service tools R set bit locker R set data center bridging or set DHCP server, DNS server. So you get a bunch of R set group policy management tool, uh, network controller, remote desktop service, remote access management. We just want to stick to this one I probably it's taking forever here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log out of it and sign back in with administrator account just to be sure let's do that so we know our set is there we just have to install it and apparently it's either the how oh, I get all of them run slash administrator or what if it's I wonder if it has to be a local user local admin Ah. <clears throat> mm. Settings. Don't ask me credentials again, okay? 
apps and features optional features I think it tried to ask me uh, features okay no features installed so let's go with the local account apparently you cannot do that from the admin, uh, the main accounts probably let's see if we can do the uh, magic of the local account it's win 10 uh, can we do that Let's see what errors we get. <coughs> Optional features. Add a feature. And I think, okay. Pretty good and pretty fast. Though we did not get uh, any errors on, what was that? Imran account, probably? Oh, uh, yeah. So let's uh, Active Directory certification domain services and let's get this one installed <coughs> I hope it's the right one it, I think I get a message or something oh yeah no so basically whatever you install gets uh, removed from this list so I think we're good and let's search for um, domain management or something access work domain check instant domain search no settings can we click uh, our set So in that case, uh, what was this? Uh, it will be under administrative tools, I think. Like uh, just like on the uh, ad. Windows Administ Active Directory Administrator Center. It should be this one. Okay. It's giving me error because I'm logged in as the local user. So it's saying you're not connected to a domain because uh, we know we are connected to if we click here. Go to properties and check the uh, see computer name uh, domain so otherwise it will say work group here so we know it's a work group but why we get, got the error messages because we are logged in as a local user so we have to log out of it let's get signed in back in with that Imran account <coughs> okay Trump is there forever like it just stuck there. Imran slash Imran. The password Imran slash Imran. Let's go. Admin. Admin. Windows administrative tool. Right there. 
so this should be active directory <coughs> administrative center the main entrance users and computers we're going to give it the password for Imran and let's see do we have access to it yep we got that we got the Imran.local we got the users if you remember I put the user in the text uh, for that um, for basically I was testing something out uh, so it's uh, the org organizational unit over there because uh, when oh if you remember that when uh, I made I, I did that on video when we were doing that uh, uh, group policy update uh, that you want uh, so you have to apply the policy on all of these computers so you we had to do that so is this built-in account uh, uh, like computers or users you see they don't have that small icon on them uh, these are you cannot apply any policy on these folders so you have to create a organi organizational unit or OU put them everything in whatever you want uh, users computers and then you can apply the policy that's why I had to move everything here and I did the use I believe I believe put the user in oh I applied the I did not move the users I only did the computers because the policy was for the <coughs> computers only so you see I am in Windows 10 and I am in Active Directory so if you have like five users you put five computers with this tool RSAT and then if they get all of them it's a big company and there are 10,000 users they are all getting all these calls so it's not like that they have to log in to server or they have to go to one computer uh, or take turns uh, to change that uh, for example it's not like that only one uh, help desk guy is able to change the password or lock accounts or unlock them and disable them it's just uh, all of them ha have the access so it's to bring the threshold down and it's not that just one guy is doing all the um, passwords and uh, directory related stuff so that's how you uh, that's how to enable RSAT. Uh, I could not find it very easily because normally you have to go and download it uh, from for the earlier version of Windows. You just download the uh, tool and run it. So now, if your company you have like five users or ten, and they have a their whole uh, small office, so they can manage Active Directory from their computers they don't have to log into um, the uh, server first and just to make sure that does it really work we have server running let's say the server admin is si sitting on that server and then there is a call and came in for the mm, for a user uh, he wants to change his or we want to change his password or we want to change the name it can be anything <coughs> after that right there uh, for example let's say we want to add a user so we click here and we create the do we have a help desk account in there <coughs> users so okay good there's no help desk account so for example the can you see I am on Windows 10 we can minimize the server there <coughs> or we can put server side by side right here so you see I got the, uh, the Imran he got the call uh, to create an account so he put the help desk help last name desk help desk and we click cl next we give him a password we don't want him to change the password but normally he, you that's how you do it and you click those two because it's a lab environment I don't want the password to get changed I if you watch the earlier video Symantec I did get that uh, message for a few accounts so I 
made sure I check this. So how does this create it? <coughs> but is it reflected here on my server? If I can move them side by side here. So you see on my server I have the users. There is no help desk right here. To find the help desk like it's, uh, it gets populated here, we have to refresh the screen. So there's a refresh button somewhere here. Or we can always re right click it and nope Come on. refresh and you see that help desk is right there now it's there so you see I'm checking it on server and <clears throat> for example now the server guy he wants to make changes to this one he wants to make him uh, uh, you see he's only a domain user you want to say okay I'm gonna give him admin rights now he is one of the administrators and all is to do is apply okay and we go here and we click on properties and we check who's the member of so we don't have to do it. so multiple uh, guys simultaneously can work in active directly uh, without the need to have the access to server and this is what this tool is all about all right so you see his admin here hope this video help you if it did please rate comment subscribe and share good night